Okay, so we are doing a related rate problem. We have two ships. We have a passenger ship and a tanker ship. They both left the port sometime this morning. It's now 12 o'clock. The passenger ship is 40 miles away from the port. It's traveling at a speed of 30 miles per hour. We have a tanker that is 30 miles away from the port and it's traveling 20 miles per hour. All right. So what we're trying to find is we're trying to find how fast these two ships are moving apart. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to just stop time and say how far apart are they right now? Okay, so, and, and if you see, you know, we know all these things. We don't know how far apart they are right now, and we don't know how fast they are traveling right now from each other. And, and as these continue, maybe things change, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set this up, and we're going to first find... What is this distance right now? So we're going to say um, x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. All right, so here's what we know. We know that this is 40 squared and this is 30 squared. And we, we really kind of say that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, but we're going to pretend like we don't. All right, so this is 1,600 plus 900 is equal to 2,500. And the square root of 2,500 is equal to 50. Okay, so 50 is equal to the distance between these two ships right now, right now at 12 o'clock. So this is our equation. And we're going to take the derivative of this, all right? So let's let's go in this order. So now let's say uh, find side. Let's call that um, let's call setting up the picture step one and finding the side step two and step three taking derivative. Okay, so we're going to take the derivative here, and now these are all, um, they're going to be functions, okay? We are saying that this is x squared, and this is a function, and it, we're going to take the derivative with respect to time, okay? So we're going to say that this is going to be, let's move up here because I'm running out of room, 2x times dx dt. Look at that. We we'll take the derivative of this function of x and we're going to multiply it by dx dt. Took the derivative of x, took the derivative of x squared, and now we're taking the derivative of x with respect to t. Plus 2y dy dt is equal to 2z dz dt and that is actually what we're looking for right there that dz dt okay um well here are things that we know and let's let's maybe uh fix this a little bit we know that this is 2 times 40 times 30 that's how fast that boat's going plus two times um, 30 times 20 ran out of room here is equal to 2 times 50 times dz dt okay tell you what let us move over to here Okay, and, and we're just going to say 2 times 40 times 30 plus 2 times 30 times 20 
is equal to 2 times 50 times dz dt. Okay? So this is 1200, 2400, plus 600, 1200, is equal to 100 times dz dt. This is 3600 is equal to 100 dz dt. I'm going to divide by 100. And I'm going to get that 36 miles per hour is equal to the speed at which these two ships, those two ships, are moving apart. So let's go through that again. We move this ships set up Pythagorean theorem because we're making the shape of a triangle. Okay, one part of the triangle is, or one part of this triangular design is what we're looking for. Each side has two parts. It's 40 miles per hour. 40 miles and 30 miles per hour. That's how fast this is moving. This is 30 miles per hour. 20 miles per hour is how fast that is moving. We can find 50 if everything stays still. But then we're actually looking to find what is the speed. So we set up this. Found everything. Found the constant part. And then found through all this wonderful math here, dz dt. Okay, um, we'll try another problem later. I hope you're enjoying these. I hope I get better at doing this. Thanks. Bye.